this is uh, the flange being welded to the inner vaporizer chamber. Hey everybody, all right. Now what I'm gonna be doing is I am going to be welding the uh, cap on to the inner container. So, then once I'm done with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld this outer tubing onto the flange. Um, after that outer piece of welding is welded onto the flange. Everything set up here. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to be drilling a hole through this outer tube and through the inner tube. And I'm going to place this piece of three in, I'm sorry, quarter inch steel pipe, the black pipe, through there and I'm going to weld it to the inside of the container right in here. And that's going to be my gas inlet. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a, a fitting to here. Um, I'm going to actually going to attach a solenoid valve, a quarter inch solenoid valve um, with some gas resistant seals. I believe it's Viden, something like that, seals. That, um, because that material withstands gas and high temperature. So I'm going to have a float switch in there and it's going to connect to that solenoid so that when the level reaches the determined level it will uh, trigger that solenoid valve to open and let some gas in and then once it floats up and triggers that other switch it uh, will shut it off. So well, that's what I'm going to be doing. All right, guys. What I'm all right, guys. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to drill a hole for the fuel input on this vaporizer. So, how I'm gonna do that? Let me get this all set up and good to go. Actually, get it at a better angle. Okay, I can stop bumping it. So, what I'm gonna do is I have this depth measure right here. I had to measure, measure the depth from the top of this surface to the top of this, the surface of the inner piece of tubing right here. And when I stick it down there, um, I'll actually measure it right here. I'm referencing it at three points. So I have it, let's see. So I have it touching the top of this piece right here, and then there's this rod at the bottom that's touching <clears throat> two sides of the tube in, in on the inner part. And when I get that, we have a measurement 
of just barely under an inch. See if I can get that. That's where we're sitting. So, what I need to do now is measure about a quarter of an inch past that so that I have enough room to weld my piece of one inch black pipe. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I already placed a mark. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I placed a mark. Well, you can't really see it very well. It's scratched in there anyway. At the depth that the other, you know, the inner piece of tubing is at. And so I need to measure a quarter of an inch past that and mark my line. So I have this little marker for metal. And I'm extremely blind, so when I get close, that's why. Literally, I, I was born with like five different eye conditions. Okay, so, you know what? I'm gonna use this, it's a lot better. Now I'm gonna measure down a quarter of an inch from that line which will put me almost at an inch and a quarter. Okay, so a quarter of an inch down below that line. And now what I need to do is measure across. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the camera at a better angle so that you guys can see everything that's going on a little better. It's not going to be as close, but that's okay. I'll zoom in on it once I make my marks and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to measure from this side of my tubing to the other side and we're sitting right at six inches. So half of six is three, so I need to make a mark three inches across because I want it to be centered. So I'm going to use this right here to make that mark. I'm going to set this right on there. Line it up with that edge. Tighten this down and make my mark. Okay, that mark right there is where my piece of pipe, the bottom of the piece of pipe is going to sit. The bottom center of this piece of pipe. So, now I need to find out exactly what the width is of this pipe. And this is a one inch piece of steel pipe, but it's going to measure about Inch and an eighth is what I'm going to guess at the widest point. We're at about one and one sixteenth of an inch. I don't know if you can see that or not. But about one and one sixteenth of an inch. So I need to do it at one half, just barely over a half, um, 
17 30 seconds. One and 17 30 seconds. Are you okay? Put my hole. Come on, come on in. All right, so. Um, and that, that is from this uh, line that I've drawn below a quarter of an inch. That line that's drawn below in the first one. So I need to set it at, not one, but uh, 1730 seconds. You might want to zoom this in more. Go for it. I'm going to line it up. Coming anytime right soon. And barely below the half inch line. That's why I need to make one mark. So I'm going to. the surface and then we're going to have to cross. There we go. So I'll zoom in so you guys can see that hopefully. I'm not sure if you'll be able to or not. But, right, you can't really see the other line, but it's, it's fine. It's a super fine line. Is it that one? No, nope, the one right below it. Yeah. I can see it a lot better when it's not on camera. So, that's where I have the mark, and that's where I need to drill my pilot hole so that I can drill my one inch hole for that piece of one inch pipe. Alright everybody, sorry I had to go find my drills. Uh, now that I have all these holes marked, or, or I have all the marks on this piece right here, I can start drilling the holes. So I'm going to drill a pilot hole first. Don't know what size of bit this is. Um, doesn't really matter. So. And that's my pilot hole. And I'll get this big old honking huge one inch bit and drill the other hole. Maybe. This drill's acting up, so we'll see. Try to get it as straight up and down as I can. It's not super critical that I get it perfect um, because I'm going to be putting a weld around it, so that will seal off any imperfections. But I'll try to do the best that I can. Right here, we'll go on down, and I'll just weld it on. 